Hey Steve, what have you got there? Ah, hey not Steve, this is my new gaming computer. Oh cool, I bet it's super duper. Oh heck yes, it can even play Doom. No way, let me try. Wow, that was so frames. What kind of chip do you have? I'm glad you asked, not Steve. Let me show you. Welcome to another episode from How to Break It. My name's Steve and I like to break stuff. And today we've got a very special project. We've all seen sleeper builds. They put the 9700Ks and the RTX 2080s inside these old gray uh, beige cases and they get the hard drives and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, so from the outside it looks like it runs Windows 95 but on the inside it's a tank. I can't afford that so we're not doing that today. Today we're doing the opposite of a sleeper build. It's called the Woke PC. Basically, I'm taking this uh, Atomic Pi, which is a really fun little device that I have here, and uh, we're gonna put it inside that case there. But there are some challenges. So first of all, you can't mount a, an Atomic Pi inside uh, an ATX chassis the same way you would a regular motherboard. So I came up with a cool plan. I'm going to use this bit of Lego. I got a bunch of Lego. I got this big old sheet of Lego. I'm gonna draw out, map out where the, the mounting holes go, drill those in, screw that in, so that this guy doesn't short out in the case and we can get it all in there fine. But from the outside, I want this to look like it's a real PC and I want someone to believe that it's a, it's, it's a typical PC. So, uh, what we have is this motherboard here that I picked up at the Plaza de Tecnología for like five bucks and uh, I'm, I'm stripping the rear I.O. off it. I'm just gonna cut the motherboard. The CPU spot was all bent anyway, so I got it real cheap. And uh, we're gonna cut this piece off there, and I have a rear I.O. shield. It's gonna be a fun time. I have a, GPI, or a GPU backplate, because I want it to look like it's a real computer. No idea which card it came from, but it has VGA, HDMI, and DVI. I was able to get a female VGA port. It's actually a coupler, and that's just for appearances. It's not gonna function. Same thing with the DVI, couldn't find one. So I took the 7300 GS out of my Mac Pro a long time ago. This is an old card, it's useless. So I'm just going to, again, tear off a DVI port, stick it there, it's gonna look fun. And then I have an HDMI coupler, which goes on the back just like this. I had to cut it and strip it down so that it fits like this. We're gonna hot glue that into place. And that's gonna be an HDMI cable going in here. And then one from the other side feeding into the HDMI out of the Atomic Pi. What else did I talk about? Powering it, we've got the Cooler Master uh, EX2 Extreme, 525 uh, watts. In order to make it believe that it's on, because I'm not actually connecting this to a real motherboard, uh, you gotta short out the green and the black pin, like I did with this pin here. And uh, that's gonna tell the power supply it's okay to be powered on. And then these red lines, as far as I know, these supply five volts which is what it takes to power the Atomic Pi. So we're gonna hijack some of this, but uh, yeah, that's fun. We got some solder, we got the hot glue gun, we got some uh, little cables, we've got, uh, what else? Cut rear I.O. from Mobo. Get five volt from power supply. Set up GPU backplate. Figure out ethernet. Oh yeah, ethernet. no idea what I'm gonna do with ethernet. We'll figure that out. Build Lego cage mountain case. So, let's break it. All right, I did zero test fitting. This is all theory and I'm gonna put it together and we're gonna, I'm gonna speed it up so you don't get bored. Um, but the way I see it, the, the first thing we have to do is figure out how much of this sheet of Lego we need.
First, we have to decide on where we're going to put the Atomic Pie, and uh, we're gonna build a Lego chassis for it. So this is gonna be fun, stick around. All right, so here's tentatively how it looks. That should be nice and snug in there. I'm probably gonna add some glue. Um, once, I get, once I get it finalized and get everything fit in and run all the cables. But uh, so far, it's looking pretty good. And uh, we got the Steve characters from the Lego store that I built there. And I'm actually really happy with uh, how this came together. So stay tuned and we're gonna see what happens next. All right, it's been a bunch of days, but you don't know that because of the magic of film movie editing. Um, but I've decided to take a different route. Drilling holes in here is stupid. So I decided to go with Velcro. I'm gonna use Velcro to mount it into the case, and I think that's a perfect solution. And now I've got a couple of other goals. I'm just gonna go over what they are, and I'm gonna start doing it. So, all right, I've explained that I decided to use Velcro. Uh, I'm going to cut the motherboard over here, that thing, uh, cut the thing off. I'm going to cut the DVI connector off the video card. I'm going to strip the power supply connectors and create the power connector for the Atomic Pi. And I'm going to finish uh, the GPU backplate. And uh, then I'm probably going to fit everything and then come back once it's all done. So uh, let's break it. All right, as you can see, I've got some of the parts fitted. Uh, I've, got, uh, I've got the board fitted in there, nice and snug. I added the fan. Had, uh, I, I misjudged how, um, how much space I needed for the HDMI connector. So I put in the right angle joint there. The fan is in, it's gonna blow air inside. I've got the power supply up in there. I built the power um, connector. Hopefully that works. I haven't tested anything. Uh, I also ripped apart the, uh, the green and black wire from here to trick the power supply into turning on, connect the fan up, and that's where we're at. Got this guy in there with the Lego, so if I turn this upside down, nothing falls out. That's, that's progress. And uh, of course, cable management is important. So the cables I'm not using are back here. They're gonna be stuck behind this panel here, pretending like they don't exist. And I guess what we have to do now is do some construction. So we're gonna cut the, um, cut the DVI connector off this bad boy. We're gonna cut the, we're gonna cut the rear IO off this motherboard. We're gonna get this uh, GPU backplate all put together. And uh, yeah, it's time to do some science. So let's do that. Okay. Since this is my workspace and I don't really want to take the cameras outside, we're going to put this bag down. And that's going to catch all of the debris, I hope. Uh, that so. First thing we need to do, put our safety goggles on, okay? And then we have to grab our saw. Safety goggles are important. Safety is the most important thing when you're working on a project.
Don't do this at home. All right. I can't believe that my uh, my safety goggles didn't do the trick. All right, got it all put together. Power button doesn't do shit. Reset button, none of this front IO is hooked up. I've got a switch on the back of the power supply that I have to turn on to get it working. I've got it hooked up to HDMI 2. I have not tried this. I have no idea if this is gonna catch on fire, if it's gonna work, what's gonna happen. So let's do it. Moment of truth, you ready? Fan started. USB doesn't seem to be working. Ah! Hell yeah! Okay. Now we gotta do this. We gotta escape out. It's gonna restart and then it'll allow me to boot from Ubuntu. Come on, baby. Remote boot canceled. This is normal. Ha ha! We're logging in. The woke PC lives! Woo! This is awesome. Make sure we got internet connectivity. You broke it. Hell yeah. Now there's a couple more things that I wanna do. Uh, I wanna get the power and reset button to function. I just don't know how to do that just yet because I'm an amateur at this. So for now, I'm gonna use the switch on the back. Um, Let's give you a look at how all of this actually looks though. So for now, I don't have a, uh, I don't have the USB hooked up in the front. I'm gonna figure out how to do that once I get a header. So I've just got this USB hub Velcro to the side of it because I'm a very stable genius, so why not? And that's got the, the mouse and the uh, keyboard. And then because I didn't have time to pick up an ethernet card, I've just got uh, a built-in ethernet cable. <laughs> so when you need to move the PC, you actually unplug it from the ethernet, uh, from, from the, the router that it's plugged into. None of this IO works, none of it. I've got, uh, the only thing on the back that you actually plug into is the power and the uh, HDMI plug here, which I think I did a great job of gluing in place. And I'm gonna add another fan here, ideally. And uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's high time to officially declare it broke. 